Okay, thank you for joining me in your crypto entertainment only update. I'm just going to go over my account balances on my different MetaMask wallets and uh, talk about them. Along with that, you can see I have this LP version 1 Poo coin, another $50 in Poo coin. I actually only spent $300 on that, but it's worth $600 now. So, inside, one thing I do not like about it is it's going to show me my purchase amount. So these are my coins. I have not sold SafeMoon. And it says that I used 3.9 BNB, which was a cost of $2,500. So BNB at the time was only $250 because I purchased this back in March. March 22nd, 10 at night, you can see that. So with this, you can s with, with this, it's kind of frustrating because I, I wish it gave me the price of what 3NB BNB was. Um at that but it's it, it's not that so we you just need to keep that in mind when you're looking at this this isn't what the price you paid for it you the price you paid was when you were you, you actually got your bnb so you're gonna have to keep another ledger <laughs> just for yourself if you really want to know the actual cash dollar about that you spent but when you're talking about bnb there you go you got yourself some bnb so it's worth more so if you cash it out, whatever. So we're currently sitting good of that. Of course, anybody who bought Safe Moon and didn't sell is sitting good. Um, as long as they didn't buy at the all-time high. But even then. So we're going to go over some of the other ones. Um, Elon Gate. I did sell out of Elon Gate because it was just the right thing to do at the time. Um, needed to personally know that I could sell. I don't think this is going to... Okay, there we go. So you can see, again... This was back in March, a day later, pretty much, uh, for BNB. This was actually only half of this. Now, it would have been worth 73000 but I took my 40000 out. So, you know, regrets, it's life. Next, um, I decided to purchase back in, basically a month later. It cost me 5000 still 5000 Cost me 600, still have 600. It's split, floating pretty even right there. Now you say, well, oh my goodness, this guy's account's amazing. Well, I lose, okay? You can't win them all. So, I mean, this is an, a, a prime example. I've mentioned it multiple times. You, you, you spend something on a pre sale. I can't even show you my wallet. And yes, it's having a, a, a ride back up. Well, why doesn't he sell? Why didn't he see sell? It's going back up. I'm not selling this because the developer is really involved. What do you mean? Uh, had, had a rough start. They had an immediate sellout. That 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 you know. It, it, basically, it was destined to just go down. And I, I feel bad for the developer. I still would have been in profit here. I probably still would have been in profit here. But I was just determined that as long as the developer is involved, I'm going to be involved. I I thought they would open with half a million dollar market cap. They're still sitting at that as its lowest peak. So. I'm going to let them go. Another project I really like is the Octanes, Octa. It was an immediate drop when we bought it. Um, we did buy it at the beginning of April. It's now the beginning of May. We're looking at a whole month. Um, it has not gone up, and we've actually lost a count here. So you can't say this dude always wins, because I do not. And if we did the math, the point is my amount that I purchase and win is higher than the amount that I lose. This is a huge loss. I really believed in Hungry Bear, and I was just dumb. 10 B and B. I still believe in Hungry Bear. Still, look at this. Starting to go back up. It's a great project. Good pie point. Um, but I've got too much invested into it. I personally can't put any more in. I need to get back up to my six, which was, you know, right at this nice peak here. So not the top. Um, but, you know, I didn't take profits when when I could have. Also, it uh, locks me out from um, from some cash flow. <clears throat> cash flow. You guys get to hear the rain now. All right, so the other thing is uh, this secured moon rat. Obviously, it's not going to show me because it's done a complete airdrop swap. And then I got a couple of BNB. 100x coin. Thank you for the views. 4,000 views on the account all over this crazy 100x coin glad it's getting pumped up a little bit i don't have paper hands i did not sell you can't see my purchases but 
I purchased it right on launch, literally right here. So, no, it wasn't a rug pool. It is thankfully going up for some individuals, and they were able to buy a few hours later, and they doubled. But, you know, until we get up to here, I'm still at a complete loss. So, yeah, the other one was cream pie. This is about a $100,000 loss. We can check that here. Purchased it for 5 BNB. Um, sorry, 8 BNB here, would, which would have been uh, $192,000. Did I sell out at $90,000? No, I sold out at twelve. Did I sell out at $100,000? No, I sold out at $41,000, which still is only based off the BNB price on a March. Uh, April 18th, the BNB price was not $650, right? So I actually only took about $35,000, um, which would have been $190,000 today. So potential gain is exponential for pennies, right? Now, I did purchase Pi again in my other account, so we can switch to that real quick here, because I actually believe in the project um, exponentially. It aligns with some of my belief systems, and I enjoy watching the guys who are involved. As you can see, Cream Pie is taking a nice ride up for today. Um, it's actually heading <laughs> to its all-time high, which is great. So I did purchase Pie again. I do not have um, any PooCoin in this for you to see this account, but um, I'm almost about to double. So uh, I wanted to own a billion of Pie. I did own, what, seven billion? But um, I wanted to own a billion. I believed in the project. So I did buy it right around here-ish, I believe, um, to get myself a billion. And I'm, I'm very unhappy with that investment. Elon Gate again. Octa, as you can see. Irony Man. Moon Token. So these are just a few of the other ones in my other uh, separate account. I kind of just watch here and there. Let's go to the big account for the week. This uh, Frank account is incredible. Uh, we were sitting at 19 BNB. We're sitting at 23 BNB just from taking out our original investments on some of these coins. So let's go uh, to our gamer token, which is taking a huge drop right now, probably about a $7,000 drop. Um, we're going to switch this from the four hour chart. It's probably going to get mad at me because I tried to click on a coin that doesn't have a four hour chart to load uh, we'll try to switch this to the 15 minute for you here um, because that's a much more accurate view of what the coins doing looks like it's eating up the dips there's a lot of movement in here the telegram is absolutely exploding their logo is incredible they have merch for it it's, it's it's pretty impressive so a low chart we'll see if that loads here maybe we'll just pull the five minute in maybe that'll load so let's look at the gamer token because you can see I got a lot of moves here. So um, right now, look, yeah, look at that. That was a good dip, good good dip there. That would that would have been a good buy. Um, I'm gonna watch that for tonight because <laughs> if it's able to drop down to where it was earlier today, just today, just a few hours ago, uh, since this is the start of today, it um, if it reaches its low for today. Or even probably half that, maybe here. Volume's looking good. I will purchase more. So what what did I do here? What did I do? Well, I actually bought some um, and cashed out. Okay, so a cash out was a purchase, purchase, and a cash out. So my purchase, purchase was two B and B. I wanted to make sure I could get in. As you can see, I got in sitting right around that the uh, thirty. Uh, billion coins so that brings it to a total of 60 billion coins uh, the 60 billion coins were then uh, sold out so this is an original sell I wanted to make sure obviously you always want to make sure you can get out of a coin somebody's like why is somebody selling $30 worth you gotta make sure you can get out you can test your fees things like that uh, this is my original investment uh, $1,000 sold out uh, this was another uh, sell of a test and then I had an accidental purchase. So, yes, my bot was running and buy, 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 buy. Do I wish I would have kept that? Absolutely, because those 650s would be $4,000 each. Moment of silence for that one. 
Yes, $4,000 each just a day later. I did actually sell all of those six, uh, as you can see here, plus a little extra to cover my fees. That six would have been 25 grand. That's okay. I'm still sitting in 100% profit. It is at $19,000 and it is 100% profit. So that's, that's good. Now, uh, I mentioned this the other day, uh, Saturn, Saturna, whatever, I don't even know. Um, it's doing incredible. It's, it's, it's a very huge blessing. I'm very glad to be involved in this project. I did uh, purchase at the uh, a good amount, 5 BNB. I took out 5 and some profit. So we would have had, I would have had double in here. I do not have 400 billion anymore. I actually only have 200 billion. So I am making money back from the burn, but it is 100% profit. So $7,000 in here, 100% profit. Should I sell? I don't know. Uh, the way this is going, uh, you can see my buy and my sells are so close together. Uh, I actually wanted to check this out because we purchased um, right within the first few hours and we sold a few hours later from that. If we scroll into our chart, I did very good predicting the purchase of the dip. I was just a few clicks away on a five minute chart from it tanking that night. So initially if I didn't have a to work a 60 hour a week job, which I do, uh, because YouTube does not support me, <laughs> nor does Digital Gold, um, and I have a family and I need to take care of them, you can see I would have actually uh, reinvested um, and taken uh, some more buys into this. It's actually done really good, and uh, it's looking like a really good trend. I'm very impressed with this coin. They're doing an incredible job marketing. You can uh, click on Crypto moonshots here they're ranked again for the third day in a row so does this coin have a potential absolutely um is it going to be a safe moon blah 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 i i no one can tell you that all i know is i sold at basically half of what uh the full profit would be and i'm very i'm very happy sitting sitting there other purchase in safe moon which because you know i like to spread it on some different accounts not always a win. You can't always win. Safe Moon is still going up, so that's good. But uh, just keep that in mind. You, you're, you're not always going to win. Looks like my account is locking up here. Um, you can see I did a lot of. Oop, I did a one transaction for three thousand dollars. I'm sitting right about even. So um, my buy is. I would load the chart, but um, I had it on the five minute and. Clearly, you need it on the four hours on Safe Moon to see anything reasonable. I don't understand these lines. If somebody could please comment um, and explain these lines to me and why they look the way they do. Never seen something like that before on any chart I'm looking at. I don't understand it, but um, you can see my buy here um, was on the rise. It was looking like it was going to head to break its all-time high. But uh, this is when the LP version switched over and then it became a standstill during the audit. Uh, this was a, a terrific uh, purchase opportunity. Um, I thought about it, but I did not want to risk any more capital uh, considering I have it in another account. And uh, I'm happy just riding the wave with this one. I'm pretty much broke even on this coin with my 5 BNB. And uh, we'll see where it goes from here. The only other one which uh, looks like it's holding up its weight amongst the storm is Moon Boys. It's uh, $3,000 I spent on that. Um, it's, it's, it's still only worth a, you know 75% of what I, I paid for it. So it's a bummer, but the community is really strong in Moon Boys. And I just like the word Moon Boys. And that's sometimes all it takes. Did lose in Hyperstellar. Um, some of these coins go to complete crap, as you can see, but I don't think I put too much money in there. 30, 30, 60 dollar buys. Yeah, seven, seven bucks, right? So sometimes a couple hundred dollars gets you into 50 grand. Sometimes a couple hundred dollars gets you into nothing. So. 
that's just my account balances, guys. I want to go over those, uh, show you what I'm doing, what I'm winning, what I'm losing, uh, what I think um, you guys could do, win or lose. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't believe you should match mine or anyone account balances. I really do believe you all should make your own decisions um, and be ready to purchase and sell according to your own personal beliefs and what is going to help your future. Um, no one should tell you that. No one should uh, persuade you for that. Only you um, should be in control of that. So, yeah, let me switch to my um, account here. And I just wanted to go over my exchange and the beauty of taking uh, some profit from, 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 from time to time. So, um, Gamer, absolutely incredible. 100% profit would net me 35 BNB sold today. Another, um, which would be the, um, I don't even have it in here. Let me load it for you real quick if I can. Uh, the Saturna, Saturn, whatever you want to call it. Let's add that one. I don't think I added it. Nope, I didn't add it. Whatever, I'll add it next time. 100% profit. 11. So we're looking at a good 46 BNB coins in all of 72 hours of work. Um, I've had a lot of sleepless nights. It's very difficult to do my job sometimes. My job involves a lot of mind and physical work. So um, <laughs> yes, I have to have sleep sometimes. And yes, sometimes I go to sleep and lose $100,000 in potential unrealistic, um, <laughs> absolutely unplanned for gains, as well as mistakes by not buying or selling at the right time. So I hope you guys are winning better than me. I hope your portfolio looks better than me. And for those of you who didn't, I want you to know I am playing with 100% house money. I do not have a dollar of my paychecks, my income, any uh, retirement or savings account involved in any of this. I'm an old miner from 2015. Um, I have mined coins, old coins, new coins, and uh, profit coins involved in this. So I, I, I'm not playing with my paychecks, okay? So you shouldn't either. Um, if you want to put $10 that you would have spent on, you know, a fast food meal and pack a lunch to be able to get in this, I understand, but do not look at this account and uh, think you should change your life over it. You need to be wise, pay your debts off, um, which I'm debt free, and uh, save up for crypto. All of this um, is just fun. It's a game, and uh, uh, you'd be shocked to know that I have um, invested in all, basically, the top 50 coins in a completely different portfolio, which I will probably never disclose to you guys. So, yes. This is just fun money, and it should be fun money for you too. I hope it can change your life. It may change mine. Thank you. Have a great night, guys.